Hey everybody, Josh here with Carl's Mower and Saw. So you rented a de-thatcher to clean your lawn up, right? It's kicking into spring and you want to kick this thing in gear and get it looking good. You got to beat your neighbors, right? You got to have a greener lawn than your... That doesn't sound right. But, right, we all want to have a patch of grass, an area of grass that just looks good. And this is the right tool for many people to get their lawn looking good. But how do I use this? What do I do? We're going to go over how to start this machine, how to engage the tines, how to adjust the depth. And we'll, we'll talk about some of the mistakes that get made when people use or rent a dethatcher. So here with me today is the Husqvarna or the Husk V, nah, missing an A in there, DT22 dethatcher with the Honda GX160 engine. Let's start out by firing this machine up. I'm gonna turn it sideways so we can see what it's gonna to take to fire it up. Before I turn it sideways, let's flip it in front of you. You got this red switch right on the front, off, on. So let's first make sure that it is turned on. When you're running a dethatcher, just like any piece of power equipment, safety is key. So let's make sure that we have on the proper apparel. We need shoes, we should be wearing pants. These things can actually chuck small rocks back man and they will hurt if they hit you in the shin so wear the proper apparel wear your ear protection i don't know safety glasses are probably a good idea right things can fly around so i would probably put safety glasses protect your ears wear long pants and good solid shoes so we've turned the machine on we know that we have gas in it the next thing is is to make sure that my fuel is on there are three levers on this honda engine on the bottom is the fuel on and off it's possible that when you rented it, the fuel was shut off for transportation. So let's make sure the fuel is turned on. To turn the fuel on, the switch, the bottom switch, the black one is gonna go forward towards the front of the engine. The next lever is the gray in the middle, and that is my choke. Okay, to start a cold engine, we need to choke it. To choke this, we pull the lever back towards the operator position. And then on the top, we have our throttle. Turtle is towards the front of the engine where that stop switch is off, and the rabbit is towards the back, the operator, where the operator is going to be running this machine. Generally, I find that we don't need to run this thing quite wide open throttle. You can probably get away with a three quarters to a two thirds, depending on how thick your grass is, how much dethatching you are doing, how much thatch we're pulling up. So, we're going to fire this up. We're going to put the throttle somewhere in the middle. I'm going to choke it. I'm going to pull the rope. As soon as it starts, I'm going to move, to slow that engine down a little bit so you can hear me, I'm going to move the choke to the off position. And it should be running fairly smooth. If it starts surging a little bit, you may need to kick that choke on. This orange bar right here engages the blades or the tines, these, these fingers that are combing through the turf that are pulling up the layer of dead grass, thatch, moss in your lawn. So when I pull this, they're gonna take off spinning. A couple tips, let me slow this down a little bit more. When I engage it, I like to lift up on the front of the machine, pull the lever back, and then set it in place. That way I'm not under a load when I pull that lever back. That's hard on belts, that's hard on engines. This lever right here on the side is setting the depth, right? So as I pull this in and I pull it, move it towards the operator position, you're gonna see it starting to drop down. And I have quite the range of, of height or depth. The further back it is, the more squatted those front wheels come out, the deeper it's going to dig. And actually it will dig, it will rototill the crap out of your lawn. That's not the way to do it. In my opinion, it is best to honestly thatch or dethatch lightly two ways. So going north and south and then east and west uh, rather than one hard hit. And not only because that's hard on your lawn, it's also very hard on the piece of machinery you rented. And you're likely to burn a belt. And when you burn a belt, uh, that... That impedes with your progress, right? You're going along on the lawn and all of a sudden you get halfway done and you screwed it up. That that doesn't feel good. And you're going to have an extra fee when you bring it back to the rental yard. You know, there's just things you don't want to do. So what I would say is you start out 
dropping it down one notch and move forward a little bit. See how deep that is getting. With the thatcher, you only want to really just be touching, barely touching the dirt. You really don't want to see dirt coming up. You're trying to stay above that dirt layer, pulling up, combing up the material. So I'm going to go maybe two or three feet. I'm going to stop. I'm going to clear that grass off to the side and take a look at kind of what it looks like. So let me fire this up here a minute. Turn it back on, give it choke. Lift it up. Now my lawn right now is in beautiful shape. I've cut it fairly short. There's another trick, little tip right there. Cut your lawn short before you thatch. It's gonna mean less cleanup when you're done. So my lawn is fairly clean, fairly short. So that height, or that depth really did nothing. Let's drop it one more notch here to there. Again, I'm getting nothing, barely. I mean, nothing. See that, I'm getting a little bit. Do one more. Lift up again, engage again. That's kind of where I want to be. That's good. That's where I want to be. I'm looking at it. I'm not getting really into the dirt, but I am pulling up some of this dead, thicker, matted in grass on my lawn. So there you go. You rented a Husqvarna or Husqvarna DT 22 D thatcher. And now you know how to operate it get it through your lawn without wrecking it or wrecking your lawn. Hey, thanks for stopping in, guys. We look forward to seeing you all soon. Hey, this is Josh from Carl's Mower and Saw. Thanks for watching our videos. We're proud of the fact that we've been serving you with the best in outdoor power equipment since 1990. We're glad that you had an opportunity to sit down, watch our videos, learn something about an exciting new product that we have, something that interests you for your property, or really how to use your equipment to the best of its ability. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube. We're excited to share more information with you. See you soon.